from bad to worse to better. The Indiana Hoosier offense finally clicked when true freshman Trey Roberson started under center against Iowa. Scoring on his first drive as a starter, Roberson brought a refreshed sense of confidence to an offense struggling to find their rhythm midway through the Big Ten season. He's a very calm kid. He really hadn't hurt us in any communication. He's, you know, took care of the ball in a decent way. He's got a long way to go, but um, just the way he's practiced, thought he'd give us the best chance, and he was decent. You know, it, you know, he's got a lot of work to do to be a good player, but he's, you know, they're both, all of them are kind of young, you know, sophomores and freshmen. But uh, he's done, he's just kind of practiced and just kind of been, the, we thought, the best guy. We only expect that, you know, when it's everybody's time to go out there, that they do their job the right way. And Trey definitely, you know, he, he was above expectations. Uh, I want to improve on uh, throwing the ball more and uh, just uh, knowing where everybody's supposed to be at and uh, reading defenses more and just, just keep on working. Over the past two games, the theme for the offense has been establishing a run game, and with Roberson's dual threat ability helping to get one started, IU finally outdid a legitimate opponent in number of yards on the ground with 218. It brings a lot of mm, a, a, a lot of speed changing. Um, they have to uh, account for him as well as me and the rest of our offense, but. Um, he brings a, a, a dynamic, he can throw, he can run, so it's, it's a great uh, compliment to have. It, it felt pretty good because when, when you get the run game going, there, a lot of things open up in the passing game. I think the real key, um, I thought, you know, it looked like Kofi and Steven ran well. The perimeter play was better blocking it, running and catching. The line got a little bit better, so he wasn't playing one-handed out there. He had a little bit of help, and it gave him a chance. But what is it going to take for this offense struggling to remain consistent to come out on top in Big Ten games? Scoring on every drive, you know, you will be happy, um, especially the, the first two, you know, and in, in the previous games, it's been a few times where we haven't scored on the first, but uh, we're going to build off that and um, score every drive. It just gives our team more confidence, knowing that we can start from, from, from way down and, and make it all the way to, to the other side of the uh, 50 anytime we, pretty much anytime we want, so that just gives us more confidence. Friday brought troubling news to a program looking for an answer. Gunnar Keel, the number 12 ranked recruit in the 2012 class, reopened his recruitment after verbally committing to Indiana in July. Speculated to be what IU needs at quarterback next season, the tables are now turned as Trey Roberson proved many wrong, showing that the Hoosiers may have finally found their starter. At Kinnick Stadium, I'm Courtney Cronin for Inside Indiana.